Edmonton City Council has adopted a guideline for where homeless shelters and supportive housing are allowed in the city. The guideline was created by the Civilian-Led Safety and Security Committee and makes Compass Court the main shelter in town while restricting any others to a 12-person capacity, excluding emergencies or abstinence-based units. The committee really agonized over a lot of the issues and I think came up with the best case scenario for uh, our town. Uh, they certainly tried. But some outside council aren't impressed. You know, because of Penticton's geography and the way it's laid out with a single main street and such, um, there's not, uh, it doesn't leave a lot of room, you know, these guidelines. It's, it's, it's really trying to push uh, shelters into locations where they might not work. Lang feels the committee focused on where not to put shelters rather than where they should be. He also defended Compass Court's current model of supportive housing next to a shelter. Our supportive housing is a small portion, uh, but I think one of the things it does is provide something pe uh, for uh, someone to aspire to. That, uh, there is another level and it's easily seen that, uh, you know, as I uh, deal with my own personal trauma and issues or, or health issues uh, that there is another step that I can work towards. Lang is concerned not enough Penticton residents were involved in the process of making the guidelines. Meetings were held electronically, but unlike regular council meetings, citizens had to request access ahead of time. So it kind of codifies NIMBY <laughs> uh, and, and plays to, I think, uh, uh, vocal groups within the town, so not your seniors, not your business owners, the people that uh, would generally complain about social services. Uh, so it, it really doesn't look to where a shelter or supportive housing should be. Forecast and Net News in Penticton, I'm Chelsea Powery.